Keeping your skin hydrated during the colder months can be a challenge, but there are some products that can help you out. Yes, Dina Kupfer is live with a local makeup artist to learn some helpful tips. Good morning. Hi, Dina. Yes, good morning to you. So we are here at Christy Reynolds Studio in Midtown. This door hasn't even been open since November because of the shutdown. So she is only with us this morning to give us some examples on how to take care of your skin in the dry winter months. She has really had to pivot because of what happened in this last 2020. But 2021 is looking different. Christy, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to talk to you about off the top is how your business has changed so much. This is a darling little studio. I usually host brides here. Not lately, though. Not lately, though. No, not since. I mean, since March, things really shut down for me. I really had to think about what I have in my hands. I've got my space, but I can't really use it. So yeah. I do. You know, still try to stay connected with my clients with my VIP group on Facebook and connecting with them because makeup professionally kind of isn't a thing right now. Right, it isn't. But skincare still is. And so even if you're wearing these every day, even if you don't need to put a full face makeup on because you're not going to work, you should still be hydrating, especially in the winter months. I know my skin, really dry skin, dry lips. My eyes get very burny with certain makeup applications. So off the top, what are some tips that you can give people just to get through the winter? Hydration. It's my number one. You know, we go right to our moisturizers and oils and things like that, but what's really happening is with the masks, we're kind of trapped in ourselves a little bit and we're breathing recycled air and it's just, it's kind of wreaking havoc on our skin as we know it. Yeah. So, by proper gentle cleansing, gentle exfoliation, deep hydration, and really leaning on your more um, emollient oils and moisturizers right now, just really taking good care of the skin. You know, while it's covered, go home and take care of it when it's uncovered. And can you show us one of the lotions that you have here? Well, one of my favorite things that I've been leaning on this entire season has been this product called Cool Balm. It's a very lightweight aloe based moisturizer, but it's a hydrator. So it's got a little tiny bit of oil, but a little bit of water too. So you get that natural skin, that lipid balance on your skin that your skin really, really needs. Um, and I love to incorporate it with a couple of natural oils, like this is pure pomifero oil. So with oil, do you yeah. put that on at night when you go to bed, after you wash your face? I've seen some people on social media use it, but what's your advice? My advice with oils, I mean, you can do a lot of things with them. There's cleansing oils to remove your makeup. Um, there are different types of more um, vitamin-based oils or something that's going to be like a pure oil, like pomifero oil, that's going to target exactly what it needs to to heal. So you can use it day or night. Okay, got mm -hmm. it. And I know something that I've seen a lot is vegan-based products, right. uh, cruelty-free products, natural and, and all natural ingredients. So what should we be looking for as consumers to put on our face and what should we not worry about if it's on a label or if it isn't on a label? Well, you have to be really careful with those buzzwords, you know, yeah. vegan, natural, organic. They're just kind of tossed out there and there are particular qualifiers for each of those labels for in the cosmetics industry. Okay. So you really want to know like what's what matters to you, you know, for vegan stuff. You're not using anything with, you know, plant or I'm sorry, animal oriented in the processing or the ingredients. So a lot of people feel strongly about that. Yeah. So you just have to ask yourself what's important to you, what you're putting on your skin. Okay, got it. Okay, so coming up in the next half hour, we are going to learn how to do some makeup application via FaceTime because that is how Christy has been working. <laughs> I actually posted something on Instagram about how I can't use eyeliner right now because it's making my eyes burn. Oh, and I don't know oh. if it's because it's so dry or what. So Christy's going to help us out a little virtual makeup application, which is how she is still operating right yeah. now. So we're going to have that. We're going to have her information linked to gooddaysacramento.com as well. Christy, thank you. thank you. We'll be back nice. in the 10 o'clock hour, guys. Back to you. Right on. All right. Thanks, Dina.